Today, our 2015 Chrysler Town & Country, we will be test fitting the Curt Aluminum Folding Cargo Carrier. That's part number C18100. Its dimensions are 19 by 60, it has a max capacity of 500 pounds, and it's for two inch hitches only. So we can go ahead and begin by inserting our shank into our receiver. We'll line up our pinholes. Once we get that lined up, we'll go ahead and take our pin and clip. Now this carrier doesn't come with a pin and clip, but you can find it on our website at eTrailer.com, part number PC3. All right, we'll put our clip in place, and we'll take a few measurements. All right, so for our nearest point, it's going to be about right here to our bumper. As you can see, that's pretty close, about a half inch away before making contact. So overall, we've added about six and a half inches to our vehicle. And for our ground clearance, about 10 inches right here. All right, so we can go ahead and fold this down. The way you do that, you come down here to this pin and clip. Go ahead and pull that out, remove the pin, and then we can fold it down. We'll go ahead and replace that pin and clip just to hold it in place. And then we'll take a few more measurements. Starting with our nearest point, it has changed to about six and a half inches. Overall, we've added about 26 and a half inches to our vehicle. And for our ground clearance back here, about 13 and a half inches. All right, I'll go ahead and open up our rear hatch and we'll check our breakover point. That's going to be about 15 inches before our rear hatch breaks over our carrier. Just want to be aware when we're stacking any materials about that height. Yeah, one last thing I'd like to point out is our exhaust exits right here on our passenger side, about 11 and a half inches away from our carrier. Just want to be aware of that when we're carrying any heat sensitive materials. That's going to complete our test fit of the Curt Aluminum Folding Cargo Carrier. Part number C18100 on our 2015 Chrysler Town & Country. Let's see how that carrier did on our test course. This is our test course. Let's start with the slalom. This shows side-to-side -side action, such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. Then on to our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or uneven pavement. And last of all, the solid speed bumps. This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage, or driving in and out of a driveway.